going on legends welcome back ch from village park source now before we go any further i want to talk about final cut pro x versus imovie uh i did i recently did imovie tutorials it's a very good program it's free as long as you purchase an imac macbook pro uh you can buy an app for it i think it's like 20 dollars and uh final cut pro is 300 so what are you paying for well imovie is pretty much a condensed limited version of final cut pro they're both developed by apple uh they're both user interfaces are very similar as you can see here in imovie we've got our media up here we've got our preview window right here then we've got our timeline down here with our playhead uh same goes for final cut pro x we've got our media we're going to pull up through here audio video pictures we've got uh our preview right here and then we've got our timeline down here with our playhead so what's the difference? If you buy Final Cut Pro X for $300, what are you paying for? Well, it's really like an advanced higher skill level set. There's a lot more you can do. There's way more effects. I mean, if you look back at iMovie, this is kind of what you're limited to up here. Uh, color patterns, stuff like that. Cropping, pretty self-explanatory. Video background noise reduction. And a lot of the stuff's actually the same. Like you see the same transitions, like in iMovie, if you want to get a transition, you would look at this stuff. They've got some pretty cool templates right here. You don't have to download anything. iMovie already provides that for you. And uh, if you notice in Final Cut Pro, you can see, click on transitions down here. You see the same stuff, check it out. So what are you paying for? Well, for starters, iMovie to me, uh, it supports 4K. iMovie, I'm sorry, Final Cut Pro, supports 4k. Um, that's kind of the way that the generation in the world is turning to. And iMovie is limited to 1080p. Um, iMovie is great. Don't get me wrong. Can you make good movies on iMovie? Absolutely. Uh, if you're making quick little selfie video, YouTube videos, do you need um, Final Cut Pro X or Adobe Premiere? Not at all. You can totally get away with iMovie. I mean, it's, it's free. It's tough to beat free. Um, I could talk for an hour on this, but I'm not because I want to limit these videos to like three minutes. One of the, th the things that stand out to me most in Final Cut Pro X, uh, and we're going to talk about these, so don't be overwhelmed now. The keywords, it's easier to tag videos, it's easier to find stuff, it, and there's just way more customization. Um, video and audio files, you can really, really play around with stuff in this. I mean, I'll add some stars. I mean, there's just so many more templates. There's just so many more effects. That's the first thing I noticed. Again, it's $300. If you don't need this stuff and you're comfortable with iMovie, uh, stick with that. If you ever want to upgrade, I think the best course of action would be to go to Final Cut Pro X because, hey, you already know iMovie, so you already know the core kind of of the user interface and you're familiar with editing and trimming and cutting up clips and adding audio over it and doing picture in picture and all that stuff. So it's $300. You're pretty much paying for 4K, a lot more customization. Um, the tags up here, I'm going to be doing tags in the next couple videos. We're going to be talking about pretty much pulling in large chunks of video file and pretty much categorizing them. Um, so that's kind of it. A lot of it's the same transitions. You're pretty much comparing $300 to free. To me, there's that, there's never no right or wrong. Uh, the final cut pro has a little bit more of a learning curve, but anything's <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> anything's easy once you know how it's done. So that's kind of the gist. Good luck with this. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to talk about uploading media. All right, guys, good luck and I'll see you over there.